Today we're going to go over how to edit your photographs so they become black and white in Photoshop. I know Photoshop is something new for several people, so uh, we'll just go right into it. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that you know how to open up your photograph from photos. So what I do is I go to File, and then I go to Open. From there, I actually scroll down to where the photos are, and then I choose a photograph that I want to use to create it, make it black and white. So maybe I choose this and open it up. But actually, instead of using this photograph, I think I want to use a different one. So I'm actually going to have the workspace be photography, and then I'm going to reset the workspace. Sometimes it wants to be kind of cranky. And then I'm going to go to this photograph that I took at the Anza Borrego Forest during, or Anza Borrego Desert during the Super Bloom. So it's a beautiful photograph, but right away I can see that there is a ton of dust in the sky. Uh, dust in the sky appears when there's dust in the lens or if there's fingerprints in the lens, that kind of thing. So you really want to make sure that you're kind of making it so that you get rid of that. And the easy peasy way of doing it is I use the spot healing brush tool that's down about five tools in your toolbar. And then I choose a brush that's going to be around the same size of that little dot. So to change my brush size, I use the right bracket tool to make it larger or the left bracket tool to make it smaller. And I just uh, kind of go plunk and it gets rid of it. So the spot healing brush tool, what that does is it actually kind of selects the pixels around the dots and uh, tries to figure out like, okay, what's around it? What can I do to fill that in? And so right away you can see really quick, easy. Again, I just took the spot healing brush tool and I cleaned it up. The next thing you're gonna do is to go to image and then adjustments and then change it to black and white. And what I wanted to show you, what I specifically want to highlight with this is that there are presets that you can use and I want you to go through to find what the best one is for you. So for example, maybe the blue filter looks good. Maybe you like it darker. Maybe you like the green filter. Maybe you like the high contrast. So again, what you want to do is try to find a black and white that makes the image look as good as possible. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. The other thing you want to make sure is that the horizons are flat. So if this is, for instance, I'm just going to, just for grins and giggles, I'm going to show you how it looks when it's rotated. And it's one of those things that makes me a little bonkers as an artist to see something like that and be like, okay, it either has to be really straight or really, you know, like very curved or very flat, very diagonal or very flat. So to change that, what I do, it's a quick thing. You go to the crop tool and they have this thing that says straighten the image by draw a line in it. And it's, again, just make sure you're not cropping it. You're just straightening it. So you take that little straighten tool. And then what I do is I kind of draw a line on the area that I want it to be straight. And then I press check and it looks much better. I might have to go in and crop it a little bit if it's not perfect. Generally, they do a pretty good job with cropping it, but you wanna make sure there's no white lines anywhere. But I think it looks pretty good. Again, like I said, I'm just gonna crop it slightly a little bit because I'm not crazy about seeing that white line. And then check. From there, I'm going to save it as whatever the element and principle is. Um, I'm going to say this is symmetry. So I'm going to go File, Save As, Moncure, uh, Kelly, Symmetry. I would generally, I probably wouldn't choose this one for symmetry, but for the project, I'm just going to say this is symmetry. Always make sure it's 12 and say OK. And you've got your first one. So again, make sure you're getting rid of the dust by using the um, spot healing brush tool. Make sure you are creating it black and white by going to image adjustment uh, black and white and then going through the presets and deciding which one looks best. And then after that, make sure you're 
uh, horizons are flat, straight. Um, if they look straight already, then don't worry about it, but you want to make sure this always looks as good as possible. All right, good stuff. Good luck.